Okay, now let's go to the withdrawal list and then let's go have a look at the tournament because it's Indian Wells and it's a big, big tournament on the men and the women's side. We went through the WTA yesterday and some interesting names there that were uh, missing and also some interesting matchups. But the men's draws out as well. So let's start with the withdrawals from the men because we do have a couple of updates and maybe some changes that we thought were maybe going to be withdrawals, but they're not. So here are the confirmed withdrawals. We have Roger Federer. He is confirmed not to be playing. We all already knew that. Garen pulled out Nishikori. Also pulled out Songa's out. Duckworth, Vanolez, Ema, and Dominic Team. They're the big names that are out. We can add to that list a couple more people, including um, we have... Uh, Maga and also Molkan have pulled out of this one. All right, let's start at the top of the draw now. And we got Daniel Medvedev. Number one seed, the top 32 seeds get a buy in the first round. First time we're seeing Daniel Medvedev, the world number one, playing as the world number one, officially. Uh, so we're going to see him play. Uh, he'll play either the winner of a qualifier or Poprin, who are going out in the first round. Then we got Kranovic versus Lajevic. Winner of that takes on Gael Monfils, the 26th seed in the second round. Then we've got Alcarez, the number 19 seed, taking on uh, taking on either McDonald or Futrovic, who are going at it in the first round. Uh, then we've got another qualifier in this part of the draw, taking on Gaston. Winner of that takes on the number 15 seed, Batista Agu. So not a terrible draw for Medi. I mean, Alcarez is not fun to play, and he doesn't want to play RBA because he's a nightmare. Monfils in the third round, I'm not sure they're head-to-head, -head, but... Um, uh, I think it's a manageable draw for Medi. I think he'll like these slower conditions. Second part of the top section, or the second section of the draw, in the top quarter of the draw, we've got the defending champion, Cam Norrie. The number 12 seed, by in the first round. He'll play either Martinez or a qualifier in that second round match. Uh, then we've got Fanini versus Anduha. Winner takes on the finalist from last year, number 18 seed, Basilashvili. So straight away, we could get a replay of the Indian Wells final of last year in the third round. That's going to be fun. 25th seed, Hashinov. Uh, he'll take on either Brooksby or Bayena, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Serendolo versus Sock. Uh, the winner of that will play City Pass in the second round. The number five seed. So Steph versus Sock. That's what we want. That's what we want. As the uh, unofficial, uh, we are the Sock train, aren't we? We're the, uh, we are the, I drive the train, and you guys are all passengers on that Sock train. Let's see that happen. But I'm excited to see the Nori Basilashvili rematch. Let's see if that actually comes to... Uh, comes to play as well in that third round. We could get a replay. All right, talking about big names, let's go to the third section. We've got Rafa, the number four seed. He is uh, waiting for the winner between quarter and a qualifier. We're going out in the first round. So it could be an interesting second round match there for Rafa. Uh, Correa versus Cuevos. Winner of that play is number 27 seed Evans in the second round. Uh, then we've got Opelka, the number 17 seed. He'll play either Giron or Musetti, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Chorich, the return of Chorich. He takes on Fakina. Winner of that match takes on Shapoval of the 13th seed. Now, straight away, you can see Shapo, Rafa. Fourth round, that could be happening. That's a match that I think we all want to see because we saw it at the uh, at the Australian Open. And I wouldn't say they've got beef. Shapo, <laughs> he's not the biggest fan of Rafa at the best of times. He did have some comments about Rafa, so we do want to see those guys play again and see if uh, Shapo does make any more comments about the time that Rafa takes between points. Let's go to the next part of the draw. We have Sinner, the number 10 seed. He takes on the winner of Quan and Jero, who are going out in that first round. Then we've got a couple of Frenchmen going at it in Bonzi versus Rindernick. Winner of that match takes on the 21st seed, Sonego, in the second round. Then we've got the number 32 seed, Delbonis. He awaits the winner of Kyrgios, who's the wild card in this one, uh, taking on Baez. We've got a qualifier taking on Cressy. Winner of that takes on the number eight seed, Casper Ruud. So, I mean, look, the big name there is Keegs. Nick Kyrgios, he just went and watched LeBron and the Lakers play. He also watched Steph Curry play in that match. He's got a good draw, Kyrgios. You know, Baez is, is, is a beatable player on, on, a, on a hard court for Keegs, and Del Bonis is more of a clay quarter too. So we could be seeing Rude versus Kyrgios, and we all know they got beef. Uh, not to mention Sinner at the top. I would say Sinner's got a good draw. I think Sinner should get to the uh, get to the fourth round and play maybe Kyrgios or Rude. All right, now we're going to the bottom half of the draw, and we have Berrettini, number six seed. He'll take on either Umber or a qualifier in the second round uh, after getting by in the first round. Then we've got Bagnus taking on Laxanen. Winner of that match takes on the number 30 seed, Harris, in the second round. Uh, then we've got the 24th seed, Cilic. He awaits the winner of a qualifier versus Kecmanovic. Uh, winner, uh, then we've got another qualifier in this part of the draw taking on Van der Zanschulp. Winner of that takes on the number 9 seed, FAA. Uh, we haven't seen Felix since those two you know, back-to-back -back finals a few weeks ago. 
winning his first title. So I, I'm excited to see FAA. He's got a tricky draw. You know, Chilic isn't easy, and Van der Zandstrup is tough, and Berrettini fourth round potential. But I, I think FAA out of this part of the draw is probably the most confident. Next section of the draw now, and it is the Sasha section. Uh, let's go to the top of the draw, though, of this part of the draw. We've got the 16 seed, Grinja Buster. He's playing a qualifier in the second round no matter what because we've got two qualies going at it. Then we've got Matrizak taking on Bedene. Winner of that match takes on the number 20 seed, Fritz, in the second round. Then we've got the number 29 seed, Diminor. He waits the winner of Avashka taking on Struff. Uh, battle of the big hitters there. Uh, then we've got Dimitrov versus Paul. That is a fun little first round match. The winner of that match will take on Sasha Zverev, the number 3 seed, in the second round. Zverev's draw is good. I mean, I know Dimitrov and Paul are going to be a tough opponent, no matter who it is. But he can beat Dimonor. He can beat Karina Busta. He could... I mean, Fritz is a, a bit of a nightmare because he lost to Fritz here last year. But he can beat Fritz more than more times than not, right? I would say every, you know, 7 out of 10 times, he'd probably win. All right, so the bottom quarter of the draw now, the top half of the bottom quarter, if that makes sense. Seven seed Rublev buying the first round. He takes on the winner of Kopfa or Pear, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Manorino versus Nakashima. Winner of that plays against the number 28 seed, the big foe, Tiafo, who I think might be able to do some damage here. We Watch out for Tiafo. Um, then you've got the number 22 seed, Karatsev. He awaits the winner of Johnson versus Altmaier. Uh, then you've got Gasquet taking on Ott. Winner of that match takes on the number 11 seed, Hubi Hercatch, who, look, got to be honest, hasn't had the greatest start to the year. Didn't do great in Australia. Uh, I think he did, he did well in Doha uh, or Dubai a couple weeks ago, but it hasn't hasn't really been the, the top 10 guy that he was last year. So we'll see. Maybe he can turn around here. He's also the uh, the Miami Open champion, so he has points to defend over the next couple weeks. Uh, but you can see there, Rublev versus Hercatch. That's a possible matchup in the fourth round. Number 14 seed, Chapo. He gets by in the first round. He'd take on either a qualifier or Rusevori in the second round. Then we've got Grixbor versus Query. Winner of that plays John Isner. Number 23 seed in the second round. Then we got Bublik, the 31st seed. He takes on either Murray, who's a wild card. He's taken on a quali in the first round, Murray. So that's a good start there for Mo for, uh, for Muzza. Then we got Thompson versus Goffan. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Novak Djokovic. Yes, Nole is on the list. He's on the he's in the tournament. Now we don't know if he's allowed into the country, but if he gets into America, he's playing Indian Wells. Uh, all the speculation about will he play, won't he play, is he allowed to play, will Indian Wells let him play, it's all out the window. Because he's playing if America says yes. So that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the government, uh, for the uh, CDC of America to say yes or no to Nole. I can't, Raf is the easy pick, I guess. I mean, I'll pick Djokovic if he's playing. If Djokovic is playing, I'll pick him. Because uh, I think Nole, I said that in Dubai, first tournament back, he looked rusty. I would say if Djokovic does play, he is, I'm going to say he's the favorite. 